It's been a hot minute. <clears throat> yeah. Living my life like a gunner in an old western But I don't know Texas I just know this letter opener could crack and swell head And that's the end of it Platinum penmanship, I'm cashing off my friendships I'm a capitalist, walking on the sky like Anakin Packing in saccharine lines, you digest like anises That goes down easy, these foes just tease me with blows Remember like the day that your soul found Stevie, you know? No, I do not trust ya, I'm a spot rusher Imagine General Patton in the south with a box cutter So stop muttering flows, just not buzzing this is my video on how to build a bicycle generator. Uh, those are some of the tools you're going to need. You know, obviously you're going to need a bike. The old one's probably the best. Pull the rear tire off. It's not too hard. You need a pulley wheel. I use a three inch pulley wheel. The smaller the better. Uh, you're going to need a belt that's uh, big enough to basically reach from the rear tire all the way to the pulley wheel and have enough distance to work. You're going to have to raise the rear tire off the ground so that you can pedal the bike without the bike actually moving. So I use 2x6 and 1 inch plywood to kind of build the frame to support the bike and the 1 inch plywood is what I mounted the frame to. That's the AC generator from an inside view of the box. Pull it down. Make sure you do your best to mount everything as good as you can down to the base can't really have any movement otherwise when you go to pedal that bike the wheel will turn and the chain will get caught and nothing will work so I spent a lot of time making sure everything is held in place when I pedal the bike What you want to do is you want to have your three wires from the generator coming to the bridge rectifier and then the other two ends, the positive and negative, going to the battery. Then I have my voltmeter, my digital voltmeter, coming to the positive and the negative of the battery. So that way that the generator charges the battery and then we get a direct read of the battery through the voltmeter. So this is a test with the battery. So now I thought I'd uh, run a test without the battery. So I got the voltmeter directly plugged into the bridge rectifier. Battery's disconnected. <clears throat> so we should be getting a reading of the voltage just from pedaling the bike and the generator. So here what I did is I wired a power bar directly to the bridge rectifier. So still with no battery, since the voltage was close to 120 when I was pedaling, I figured if I plug a cell phone charger into here, it should convert it to 5 volts and it should charge the phone. So it's a phone charging test.
fuck off. Fuck, you made me fuck up my shit again. <laughs> I can't even help it, it was too good. You're a fucking goof. Bitch. Last but not least, since uh, I was able to power stuff with a power bar, I wanted to see exactly how much I could power up the power bars. Since I only had a string of Christmas lights available, and my drill charger, those are pretty much all I plugged into it, but... Joy, when I'm on the scene, I 